Welcome back friends. Today we will see the second part of our previous lecture that is gauss seidel method. That is how to solve a system of equation using gauss seidel method that we will see through an example problem. So let's start. So the problem is that we have to find x, y, z in this system where first equation is 3x plus 20y minus z equal to minus 18 20x plus y minus 2z equal to 17 is the second equation third equation is 2x minus 3y plus 20z equal to 25 and the initial vector we have to take that is what 0 0 0 means initial vector is 0 0 0 where x value is 0, y value is 0, z value is 0. Then we have to find what is x, y, z. Now, if we remember, if we recall the procedure, then uh, it says that before starting or before applying gauss seidel procedure, we have to check whether the system is diagonal dominant or not. That means if I see the coefficient matrix here, Okay, then portion matrix will be 3, 20, minus 1, first row, 21, minus 2, second row, 2, minus 3, 20, third row. So that means we have to see that A matrix is diagonal dominant or not. Then how to see, how to do the diagonal dominant matrix uh, tell that, a diagonal dominant form tells that our diagonal entry, so first entry or first uh, row will be consist of 3, 20 minus z. So first uh, diagonal entry is 3. So 3 should be means absolute value of the diagonal entry should be greater than or equal to the sum of all other uh, means absolute value of all other elements in that row. That we have to see. So here we can see easily that 3 here 20 minus 1 but 3 is not greater than 20 plus 1 that is 21 that means it is not obey again if we see second one second one here it is 1 second diagonal entry is 1 so 1 is not greater than or equal to 22 20 plus 22 22 but third is obey because 20 is greater than uh, 2 plus 3 5 so uh, what to do so we have to make this system of equation in the form okay in the appropriate form how to do so if I suffer or if I switch this uh, two equation means if I write equation 1 as equation 2 and equation 2 as equation 1 then it will be in diagonal dominant form so to start this problem what to do we have to write equation 2 as equation 1 so it will be 20x plus y minus 2z equal to 17 is the first equation then then 3x plus 20y minus z equal to minus 18 then third equation 2x minus 3y plus 20z equal to 25 now we can see that this 20 is greater than 20 uh, here this 3 20 is greater than 4 and 20 is greater than 5. So now we can apply gauss seidel method. So how to do that? So it's very simple. We have to convert first equation, okay, x for from first equation, y from second equation, and z from third equation. How to write? Let's see. So we can write it the system of equation. If I write one, so one I can write it as. This one now from second equation y will write y equal to this next from third equation write z z equal to so this is the form so in this way we can change the equation now what to do now we have to apply the initial condition initial condition says that uh, x0 is 0, 0, 0 means x, y, z value is 0, 0, 0. So in this equation, what to do? We have to do iteration 1. So in iteration 1, we have to find 
x1 okay means if we put zero value then it will be x1 so x1 will be 17 minus y0 plus 2 z0 whole divided by 20 so now what we have value it is 17 and y0 is what 0 because we have 0 value plus 2 into 0 0 so divided by 20 and it will be what 0 0.85 okay now next is y so y will be what here we have to use x1 okay and so y1 will be minus 18 minus 3 we know x value so it will be x1 plus z0 okay divided by 20 so if i calculate it will be minus 18 minus 3 into 0 0.85 plus 0 divided by 20 so it will be minus 1.0275 okay so similarly what will be z1 value so z1 will be 25 minus 2 into x1 plus 3 into y1 whole divided by 20 and the value will be 1.0109 so this is the first iterative values of x y z so similarly if we do the procedure means if we take this x1 y1 z1 value then we can find x2 y2 z2 value and so on and we will see that after some point means after some uh, iteration the value will converge okay so now we will see what are the values when we, if when we uh, iterate this procedure okay so after three iterations we got these values that is uh, for second iteration x2 will be 1.0025 y2 will be minus uh, 0.9998 z2 will be 0.9998 similarly if we use this value then we will get uh, iteration 3 then we will get uh, third value that is x3 is 1 y3 is minus 1 and z3 is 1 so this is the solution of this system if we use cos hidden method